Hello friends, this video on evolution part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will look at yet another form of evolution that is adaptive radiation. So let us see what is adaptive radiation. It is evolution of different species in a given area starting from a point and then radiating to other areas. Okay, so uh, this is a type of evolution where you will end up having many different species. So different species are those organisms which cannot interbreed amongst themselves. So they cannot reproduce amongst themselves. Now the best part here is this evolution happens from one particular species. It starts from the organisms belonging to one species and gradually over a period of time different species altogether are formed. That means the organisms which are formed later become so different from each other that they start belonging to two different species. So you end up getting different species. Now, one interesting fact here is about the name. Why is it called adaptive radiation? Now, in general, what does radiation mean? Radiation would mean the rays, right, in, in very common terms. For example, the rays coming out of the sun, sun rays. So whenever you talk about radiation, what does it mean? It means that the light rays are coming from a particular source and then it is radiating or it is spreading in all direction. Like if you take the example of the sun, so the sunlight, it is, it is all concentrated, it is all coming from the same source and the source is the sun, but it is spreading in all directions. So it is radiating in all direction. So in a very similar way, here also we will see that when many different species are formed from a particular source and that source is one species, but it radiates radiates in many directions. So the different species which are formed, they actually spread to different areas as well. So they find out different habitats and different areas. So the organisms diversify rapidly into various new forms and the new forms are so new that they are all different species altogether. So and what does the term adaptive means? Adaptive means to adapt or to adjust. So how this radiation happens or how this evolution happens with adjustment. So these species, they try to adjust themselves with the environment. They try to adjust with whatever is made available to them. So with these kind of adjustments, they end up making sp small, small changes in themselves. And over a period of time, they give rise to new organisms. Now, I'm not sure if you have understood it correct or not, but now we are going to discuss about some of the examples which will definitely clarify this to you. So now, uh, this diversification of the organisms can happen due to many reasons. For example, it can happen due to a change in the environment. It can also happen if new resources are made available to the organism. It can also happen if the some new niches or new habitats are being provided by the environment. So in all these situations from a particular ancestor, from a single ancestor, various different species can be formed. Now these different species can have different morphological traits, they can have different physical traits, they become so different that they cannot reinterpret with each other. So let us look at the examples. The first example of adaptive radiation that we will be talking about is the Darwin split finches. So this is a very common and a very famous example of evolution. So whenever we talk about evolution, Darwin's finches is one of the most common example. In fact, a, the best example as well. Now, as I had already mentioned to you about Darwin's voyage, I told you that Darwin went on a voyage around the world where he visited different parts of the world and he tried to observe different types of organisms which have, which live in different parts of the world. So, during this voyage, uh, he went to the Galapagos Island in the Pacific and he saw that there are a lot of birds which are named as finches, which are called finches. So these birds are there in the Galapagos Islands and they all came in a group. So when they came in a group to this island, so they 
there were no predators so there were there was nothing which was actually challenging or which was actually threatening the existence of those birds there so they came as a group of birds to that island but since there was no predator the climatic conditions were also good they had availability of food so because of all these favorable conditions the population of these birds increased very fast so fast reproduction happened amongst themselves and therefore the the number of finches in that island increased so something of this sort let us assume this is the galapagos island a bunch of birds migrated here from some other place now when they came here they found that the climatic condition is very good there are no predators to eat them or to kill them they also had enough food available for themselves now these birds primarily used to feed on seeds so they got enough seeds as their food so everything was favorable and as a result the the reproduction amongst themselves was very fast and their population started increasing now as the population increased what happened gradually the number of birds became too much there were too many birds but now the food which was available for them that is mostly they were the seed eating birds so the seeds which were available they became less when compared to the number of birds right so what happened so there was scarcity of food now when there was scarcity of food what happened now the birds were like in competition with each other so wherever they saw a seed so everybody was like com competing with each other to get that seed so it it became like that so their survival was being threatened due to scarcity of food because for any living organism if they do not get food what will happen they will not be able to survive so the same thing was becoming true for these finches on the galapagos island so what happened now these birds what they observed was that there were two types of birds even in the population of these finches they all belong to the same species but still there were minor differences between some birds there were some birds which had a smaller beak whereas there were some other birds which had a little longer beak when compared to the normal one so these two types of birds were there now those who had a little longer beak it was found that they could also eat worms instead of the seeds they could also eat worms because they had a longer beak so if this beak could actually help them in catching the worms which are normally present under the soil now anyways there was scarcity of seeds so what happened the birds with a longer beak they started eating worms so as a result what happened out of this entire population out of this huge population of the finches it got divided into two categories one category were those birds which had a smaller beak so they all started eating seed so they all fed on seeds whereas there was another category of birds who had a little longer beaks and they could feed on worms so all these birds started feeding on worms so basically it got divided into two categories one set of birds started feeding on seeds the other set of birds started feeding on worms so how did this help now due to this division the competition for eating seeds that got reduced so as a result all the birds were getting enough food and they were able to survive they were able to reproduce and they were able to give birth to their offsprings now why was this change present there why was this change in the type of beak why some of them have a shorter beak while whereas some of them had a longer beak now even though they belong to the same species that doesn't mean that they have to be exact clones of each other that is what we learned in genetics correct that even in your in the offsprings of the same species there can be small variations those variations can happen due to recombinations so there might be some new traits in some of the organisms so this difference was also because of variations now what happened each of these group they again started reproducing amongst themselves and again over a period of time small changes in the physical as well as morphological traits took place sometimes some birds some birds due to some variation they got a different feather color sometimes some bird they got a different type of a tail so some of the other things kept on changing over a period of time and later 
it was found that i mean after a long long time it was found that it was not only these finches which were present there these two categories of finches rather there were a variety of finches which were actually present which are actually present in fact if you see today currently there are almost 13 to 15 species of finches which exist because later it was found that those small small changes over a long period of time changed the bird completely changed the bird so much that they were not even able to reproduce with each other so they all together became a different species so when these finches came to the Galapagos islands they came to the island several years ago by a storm so when they came to this island it was just one species of finches which came there but over a period of so many years today we see almost 13 to 15 species of finches so how did this happen this happened as a result of evolution and how did evolution happen evolution happened partly by variations or that is genetic variations partly it also happened due to the environmental condition I mean this entire process of evolution started with the scarcity of food so when there was no food the birds they themselves started dividing themselves into group based on their fooding habits based on the physical traits that they had depending on which they chose different food items and that is how they divided themselves and then based on the way reproduction happened small small changes happened and gradually they ended up having so many different species of the finches so this is an example of adaptive radiation why is it is it adaptive radiation because this entire story of finches started with one species of finches but over a period of time from that one particular species multiple species were formed and these species then later started inhabiting other places as well so they were not only concentrated in the Galapagos islands but they started inhabiting other places as well so that is radiation so basically starting from one particular source and then spreading in all direction so here we saw that being the long beak of these birds for the for the entire process of evolution to start the long beak of the bird gave them a survival advantage gave them an advantage because of which they could survive because had they also ha been having the short beak what would have happened they would have fought for the seeds and half of the birds would have actually died because the number of seeds were not enough to feed all of them but having that long beak actually gave them an advantage so these advantages so all these things which actually helps an organism to survive any such trait which helps an organism to survive or helps an organism to adjust better for their survival all such traits are always encouraged and all such traits are always passed on to the next generations after generations so this is an example of uh, adaptive radiation. Now these finches were all studied by Darwin and that is why they are popularly known as Darwin's finches. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.